ask you a question. Once you have read this, tell me there is another page as well. Okay, I've yes. read this place, ma. Yes, next page. Uh, take time to read because in exam you'll be given nine minutes. Once you're ready, then we'll begin. Okay, I'm ready, ma. I don't know whether my yes. Uh, my would he? Would you be able to be the consultant? Yes. Doctor Shreb, would you be able to play along? Begin. You have to call. You have to call the consultant. Dr. Kuladi, can you begin, please? Okay. Um, so I've called. Good evening, Ma. I'm Dr. Kuladi. I'm the S1, ST1 uh, doctor. Please, I want to confirm that I'm with, uh, talking to Mr. Smith, the cardiothoracic consultant on call. Yes, um, Mr. Smith, cardiac surgeon. Can you summarize your case now? Okay, I'm calling you to, to inform you that we'll be sending the patient to, to you, to your facility for further care. Is a, a known diabetic patient that was admitted today. Yes. On account of uh, uh, loss of, with loss of consciousness, left thigh swelling and uh, pain, and also... Uh, the, best, uh, the investigation results that were available shows that he, the full blood counts, the electrolyte urine and creatinine are also normal. But he had the chest x he had widened mediastinum, he had bilateral pleural effusion. Then on the abdominal, ultra, uh, abdominal radiograph revealed that the SWAS shadow is not seen with dilated small bowel weight. The left thigh radiograph also showed left femoral shaft uh, uh, fracture. He has had the uh, chest tube inserted on the, on the right side. The... The ABG that was done also shows that he has a, a lactic and he has an acidosis. So we have issue in our, our CT mesh scan is not working currently. So we won't be able to do a, a CT scan for, for him. Because of all these um, problems that he has actually in his chest, the wide mediastinum, which we are suspecting he has the like, is, is most likely he has a cardiac uh, injury from the trauma where I'm calling so that we can transfer him to your place, ma. Okay, can you tell me uh, why would you not going to increase the, or what would you going to do with the blood pressure? Okay, for 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 the the blood pressure is a uh, hundred and eighty, which is still which which is fine, ma. It's not a uh, it's not hypotensive, so I won't want bother myself trying to increase. The blood pressure further increasing the blood pressure could further dilute the clotting uh, factors in the blood, make the high blood pressure could also dislodge the clots that are already forming to secure hemostasis, and that could further worsen the patient's uh, condition. Uh, what Ma are the fi uh, CT findings that you have done? Okay, the S3 findings that we've done shows that he has wide mediastinum with yes. bilateral pleural effusion, then also a right left femoral shaft uh, uh, fracture and also on the abdominal radiograph he has a dilated bowel loop with loss of um, uh, swast shadow do you think patient needs abdominal uh, laparotomy for abdominal issues urgent laparotomy for abdominal no I, I i for for now i don't think the patient needs an abdominal laparotomy i think the most urgent thing would be to to note what is causing is a uh, 
why the mediastinum. Okay. Also, which also may be responsible for the bilateral pluriofusion that he has. That is more urgent than the than the pluriofusion is still stable. It's not like it's hypotensive for now. Uh, does the patient have cervical spine uh, color? For the cervical uh, spine? Uh, I will check that, ma. Uh, I will check that whether it has been applied, ma, and get back to you, ma. Okay. But if it has what not been other, applied, I'll put it, ma. What other blood abnormalities does the patient have? Okay, ma. The the he has an acidosis with uh, um okay. the bicarbonate also is also is also low. Yes, those are hemoglobin. part of the abnormalities that, that he has. Then the hemoglobin also yes. it's uh, gram per year is also low. Okay. Who would uh, who would accompany the patient? The to accompany the patient, uh, I'll, I'll get I'll accompany the patient, ma, so that we can continue to monitor the patient and continue our resuscitation yes. while he's on transit, ma. Yes, and who else other than you? The whole trauma team, and then the nurses the also, and then the trauma, the crash team. Yes. yes so this and patient the has a left femur fracture, shaft fracture. How are you going to manage that? Or what are you going to do for that? Yes, yes, ma'am. For in the interim page, the uh, skin traction will be applied to splint it. But definitely, patients will need an intramedullary nailing or plating with, uh, for the fracture of ma'am. Open reduction and internal fixation. Yes. So uh, you said you have done uh, ABGs for this patient. Why are they, uh, what, does, what do they show? Why are they showing metabolic acidosis? Yes, ma'am. The, the pH is uh, 7.32, which is uh, lower than what is, uh, what is expected. And also the bicarbonate also is uh, lower. Yes, but the question is why? Okay, that may be the may be result from that is diabetic, so it's possible for the patient to have uh, ketoacidosis. It's also possible that patient has shock that is just coming out of the shock. So that that's those are the reasons that may be responsible for the acidosis that he has, ma. And patient has fracture as well. So there could be chances of compartment syndrome as well. Syndrome. Yes. Okay. yes. So that also is one problem. So, okay. You said you would not be doing anything to increase the blood pressure. Patient's heart rate is uh, 120. And uh, how do you think you should take care of patient's vitals? Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, I will uh, continue to monitor the patient's uh, vita. I note that once the blood, the heart rate is not going higher than than uh, normal, it's, the heart rate could also be, uh, could be higher because of the wide mediastinum, which could suggest that he has an injury to the heart. Also, because of the pleural effusion, also that may also make the 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 heart rate to be higher. And also, if the pain control is possible for the eye eye heart rate, ma. Okay, you said patient has absent source shadow. You think patient has a uh, collection or a sepsis or any rupture of any viscous? You think yes, yes, ma'am. Yes. For because of the absence and short shadow, it's likely that patient has a fluid in the abdomen. So I want to do a fast uh, count for the patient to rule out any. To look at possible places where there could be injury, ma. Okay. So as to help me in knowing what to do next for the patient. Ma. All right. Okay. You can send the patient over. But you then, want to uh, summarize the patient? Yes, if you want, because you've already summarized once. Okay, okay ma. So, All right, ma. Are we? I ensure that the cervical collar is applied, and then the team that will follow the patient, the patient will be transferred immediately, ma'am. Good. Right. Here, I wanted you to have a view that... Uh, uh, I wanted you to connect that since patient was given four liter of crystalloids and since patient has widened medic tenum, so uh, 
I think you did say that, but I I can't remember hearing mentioning the fluid resuscitation which was given to the patient. That why you did tell me patient had widened mediastinum, but what I wanted to hear that you tell that you've done your best, you've given the fluid resuscitation, and you've even given the six six units of blood. Uh, that it also you have standby, but still BP uh, blood pressure is not raising. Right. Thank you, ma. Good. Anyone else want to give feedback? 